and the very land itself set afire by a rage of dragons. Heroes emerge, ready to defend elsewhere, wielding weapons, spells, and even necromancy to claim victory at all costs. <laughs> That's quite the opening. Alright, let's dive in and finish connect these reviews. There are two more sections to do. I'm not sure that I'll stay on and do it all. Um, still pretty thick. Got a sore throat, so I'm not going to be talking this time and possibly for the next last section. Welcome to Snow Queen 381 on YouTube, and I am Snow Queen 381 on Twitch. We're going to today and try finishing up the Canarthi Reese tutorial. Now, moving on and getting ready to try out the new DLC pack. My husband to showcase for me because I am very sick and I may have him go ahead and work on completing that out for that region just because that way you can have commentary on somebody walking through it and reacting for the first time. Because I will not be able to be doing that. All right, let's go ahead and move on. I don't know if I'll be doing an ESO store or anything else at this time because I won't be able to do any verbal reactions, but I may go ahead and do that for you. If you still want to, you can always message me or whisper me or anything along that line. And I, I check for messages every week and daily if I have the time. Thank you everyone for your continued support. I'm going to mute myself.
So, as you saw, I went ahead, I got the highest DLC pack you could get for the pre-order and that way I could showcase as much as possible and we'll be demonstrating the costume, one of the non-combat pets, and the mount as well today. Without Mistral's support, the Dominion will have precious little defense on its southern coasts. But we are not here to conquer anyone. The Sylvanar knows this. He is in the Chancery, seeking a peaceful resolution here. The High Elves, Wood Elves, and Khajiit stand united under the Eagle Banner. We secure our borders against invaders from the Covenant and Pact, but it is no easy task. And Queen Irene leads our dominion, of course. Razumdar is just a simple Khajiit. He seeks the best for all the people of Tamriel. Also, a saddle that won't pinch the tail. One day. He is the voice and spirit of the Wood Elves. They say he is, was, and will be their greatest leader, whatever that means. This one knows him as an unrivaled diplomat. He is also the Dominion's best hope of resolving this matter peacefully. Glow Lord, you used to be in the military. Does the Dominion hire cell swords? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Seriously, keep down about that. I deserted, remember? Ha! <laughs> Coward! You weren't there. You would have fled too if you'd seen what they asked us to do. Both of you, calm down. Glow Lord, do Not they? Anywhere. I don't know. Sometimes. They have a lot of gold. When they hire mercenaries, it's to fight someone they can't be bothered with or to chop an enemy down to size. If there's anything left, you're paid well. There isn't.
song men see from the distant shores of Glenumbra. A real, live dog! Lorcan, take them all! Why did the Sylvanar negotiate with these filthy Maomer? Those pirates are a stick in the High Elf eye. They capture our merchant ships and raid our settlements. If I had any say, we'd negotiate with a sword at their throats. Not as long as the Sylvanar confuses diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go, see this farce for yourself. Disgusted by its cold, oozing nose. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Carnarthy's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It seems we have a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Carnarthy's roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondil and Headwoman Harani? Exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tune. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved, though I fear the Dominion presence binds her hands. But I'll leave you to it. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations, and this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow High Elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our truce. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for it. I won't allow High Elf Warfrats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why don't you bother Harani for her copy? It's hard to keep track of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistral. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him the mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. Any luck securing a copy of the treaty? Then there's little chance for compromise. I'll call a break in formal talks until everyone calms their nerves. You understand the stakes, yes? It's why I ask you to take a more active role in locating the treaty. I don't do so lightly. I can't allow the Dominion's first act on Carnarthy's roost to be one of conquest. I understand our mutual friend prefers the rum served at a nearby tavern. Perhaps he would have ideas on securing a copy of the treaty. A 
freshly grown fruit, still without blemish. On behalf of the Bosm people, it's my goal to keep it that way. If you speak with the Green Lady, don't mistake her manner as distaste for the Dominion. She simply misses our home of Valenwood. She sustains me, and I her. Together, we are the aspirations of the Bosma people given form. Put simply, she is the love of my life. Also, she grows ill-humoured when I gush about her within earshot. I'd best say no more. It's a name, a title, and our holy city. Quite an honour to carry around such an important word, and the occasional burden in its confusion of outsiders. Not even the Green Lady calls me by my given name. Edelorn doesn't roll off the tongue, I suppose. As Sylvanar, seems like it's been such a short while, but the wrinkles on my face tell me differently. Or did you mean as Dominion Envoy? I've taken on diplomatic tasks for our fledgling alliance since its inception, so not very long at all. In Daggerfall, packs of these horrible monsters roam the streets at night and prey upon the unwary. Ah, oh, the, the fearful dog. You think this one drinks on the job? Good. Then so will everyone else. What is the word, my new friend? Ulandil certainly won't. His viper tongue is sharp. But Harani can't because her copy was stolen. It only takes three drinks to loosen the tongue of the Chancery Clerk, if you were curious. A good question. Raz answers it with an interesting bit of trivia. Ulandil posted a guard at his quarters the day of the theft. His subtleties rivaled only by his pleasant personality. Oh, and it's five drinks for embassy staff. Six puts them out. Someone needs to slip into Marmor Embassy, find a way past the guard, and rifle through Ulandil's private quarters. Oh, and do it without bloodshed that could provoke war with the Marmor. In case he was not clear, Raz is talking about you. The pragmatist in this one says it's because you have no firm connection to the Dominion. The optimist says it's because you have proven yourself more than capable already. When you have the treaty, meet both of us at the bridge. From your bones. Marvel at it. Your blade. chance for untold prosperity comes with dominion rule. FYI, you don't have to sneak. You actually can just walk in. When the storm comes, they'll get theirs. Everything is so... still. Off limits. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't open for visitors. None of your business. Go bother the clerk. He doesn't know when to shut up either.
Everything is so... still. Are you lost? Ambassador... What? Give it here! She wants to meet me? Now? Out of my way! How much longer till we put out to sea? The spring in your staff. Did you know a sense of accomplishment can alter one's stride? You learn to notice it in others. The Sylvanar is certainly being watched by the Maomar. You should inform him the treaty is safe. He will know what to do next. The Sylvanar and the Green Lady are being put up in the Armorer's home. Uh, this one recommends you knock before entering. Green Lady gets jumpy at silent approach. At a quick glance, there are holes in the treaty. When the Sylvanar worries at them, he'll tear a hole in the Malmer's side. The treaty, of course. Not Ambassador Ulanville, though <laughs> that would be funny. Get them while they're hot. New weapons and armor for you. Ask Lajolas about his private fittings. Still nothing. What do they think they are playing Time for at? you to leave. We paid I... them, yes? No! No! Maybe they got caught? It wouldn't be the first time. Climbs. You found him like this? What did you see? Answer me! 
Then you know nothing. A thousand curses on this wretched island. They've taken my beloved. None who will survive the day. I am the unerring bolt. Once loosed, I cannot stop till I pierce my quarry's eye. Harani knows her own city. If she won't tell you who did this, I'll shorten her tail until she does. Now go! Go! Be disgusted by its cold, oozing nose. Not again. Please, I understand what the Sylvanar desires, but I already told you, we cannot provide him with our copy of the treaty. Dead? But he was just here. What happened? How awful. Who would harm such a peaceful creature? My guards saw nothing. We doubled the watch to ensure safety. I cannot abide the Sylvanar's murder in my town. I'll shut down the port if I have to. None sets sail until his killer is brought to justice. Of course. I hereby declare you a deputy of the Mistral Guard. No door shall be barred to you. On my desk, you will find the most recent reports from the Mistral Guard. You are welcome to review them for any inconsistencies that could lead to the killer's capture. The Sylvan are murdered? These treacherous Khajiit have plotted with the Mawamer to slay our noble envoy. How dare you! The Sylvanar was our guest. You go too far, Vice Reeve. Outrageous! More Dominion treachery! I will conduct my own investigation! No sea rat will show me up! I'll get to the bottom of this myself! Don't be shy. You want what we're offering, don't you? Then talk to Huthak about the secret ingredient that makes his brew so devastating. Clerk has any sense, he'll find it.
Get off my ship before I throw you off. And I need a new rigging and a serving wench. Too bad for us both. Now get off my deck before I throw you off. Well, that's a serving wench. Three minutes. If my sailors see your hands where they shouldn't be, I'll keelhaul you myself. Watch your step, ground walker. Another one? Don't cause trouble. I wasn't always a beggar. We can't. They kicked us out. No, remember come when? now, friends. Ha, of Have course you, you don't remember. Juraira's You're in a sixth flagon of plum brandy. Don't push, don't shout. Six? She's got enough that seems for low. everyone. Fag. This was after three drams of white... Killing the Sylvanar was foolish. The green lady and the Sylvanar shared a life bond. She has little time to avenge him before she too will die, and the Green Lady is a most dangerous creature. But then, you have that spring in your stride again. What have you learned? The Maumer planned something, but what? Wait. The apothecary sold Daedra blood in these specific amounts? That would explain the strange liquid upon the... Oh no. Bright moons, no. This is a sample of the vile cloud from around the Sylvanar's body. Bring it to the Green Lady. Tell her it killed her beloved. As for the rest, Harani will see what you found. We must move like Kenarthi herself is at our backs. will share the pain my beloved's death has wrought. Hand down the throat, a kiss for my wrist. Hand on the lungs, a kiss for my arms. Grasp, tear, yank, and one last kiss for the killer's own heart. Now, what have you found? No poison in all of Tamriel could harm my beloved. But this scent was on his body. Why is it out here as well? see it leading away into the heart of this wretched city you're blind to it easily remedied follow if you can
Covered my tracks. Couldn't have found me. I followed his orders. Daedric poison for the wood elf and his mate. I followed his orders. Ulandil. He said they could stop the tempest. Had to be removed. I've heard enough. His orders. Had to follow his there, orders. There, there. You did what you had to. As did I. I hope to be done here soon. Ah, the errant deputy. I was just informing headwoman Harani of her apothecary's connections to the High Elves of Somerset Isle. Once the torture begins, we'll learn why the Dominion killed their own diplomat. My what? You mean the apothecary? I assure you, he was never in my employ. Oh, well done. It doesn't matter now. The green lummox and her idiot husband lie dead. There's nothing you can do to stop us. You're lying. She must be dead, or else she'd have come for me. She's coming for me, isn't she? I... I'm a duly appointed ambassador of the Maoma people. The grounds of the embassy are sacrosanct, according to our treaty. Tempest is coming. You cannot stop it. Sea rat coward. This is madness. There has been enough death in this city. His heart. Stop, all of you. This madness ends now. This does not excuse a mindless slaughter. We are better than our enemies. You must apprehend him. Don't let the green lady cut him down like an animal. We must learn what the Maomer plan for Kanarthi's roost. I trust you'll do what's best for my people. Now I must... apologize to Vicereve Peladil. Whatever the Dominion needs, we will provide. Mercy, please, mercy, save me from this mad woman. I do, by all the gods, I do. Move, unless you don't mind the spatter. I'll keep him alive for a time. He won't starve. His limbs have so much flesh to sustain him. Go tell Harani the Marama is dead. Leave me to my work. Exactly. And I'll have the blood that's due. What does this creature's life matter to you anyway? You dare speak for my Sylvanar? I'll beat you with your own flayed skin. I'll smash your teeth to powder and choke you with the dust. You're... Oh, you're right. Curse your bones, you're right. Take them away before I lose myself. Keep her away from me.
We've taken Ulandil into custody thanks to your quick action. No treaty will keep him from proper justice. I understand. I am certain she'll find another way to mourn her husband. I asked Ulandil what he meant about the Tempest. After what that Green Lady did to him, it is difficult for him to focus. But what he did say isn't good at all. The Maomer have some ships waiting offshore. Ulandil's people signaled them before the Green Lady arrived. Some sort of invasion force. With the Dominion's help, perhaps we can fortify the town. That alone may save many lives. I signed a new treaty moments ago. Vice Reeve Peladil assured me the Dominion will protect our little island. It's a new beginning for Canarthi's roost. We will prosper or fall together. Hey, slow pause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm going to stop here before the next quest. As usual, thank you again for enjoying. I hope you've been enjoying the Canarthi Roost to to complete tutorials. And we'll see you next time on Twitch and YouTube. Have a great day. Bye.